Hi guys, this particular tutorial was influenced by the artist Banksy and you'll see the image on the left is a girl doing a handstand against the wall and the image on the right is a little girl in what looks like a princess or a fairy dress and what we want to do is take the little girl in the blue dress and make her look as if she is graffiti on the wall. So to do this, firstly I'm going to go to select all and select the little girl you see that there's little marching ants going around there and I'm going to go to edit and copy and then I'm just going to minimize this image on this image which is now currently active I'm going to go to edit and paste and you see there that the little girl does come in I'm going to click on the move tool and move her to where I would like her to be on the wall doesn't matter if her feet sort of look as if they're coming onto the pavement that's okay and I'm going to have a bit of a play about with some of the blending options available. So I'm going to click on normal and I'm going to ask for lighting because this area here is so light around the girl that hopefully the wall comes through that and it doesn't appear to. So I'm going to try darken and that comes through much better. But there's no outline to the girl. She still looks very photographic and I want her to look more um, graffiti like. So I'm going to try screen. I'm just going to work my way up and down some of these and see what option is actually best. And what I'm aiming to do is to get rid of the white but keep the girl in the image. I'm going to go back to I'm going to go back to darken. Okay, so on that layer one, I want her to look more painting-like. So I'm going to go into the filter menu and down to filter gallery. And on the 100%, I'm going to click fit in window. So I'm going to look at some of the artistic options that I have available. And I want her to be quite detailed. Poster edges looks quite good, but you'll see that there's a lot of smudges underneath there, but we'll see how it goes. So here we can play about or experiment with the edge thickness. And you would normally see an edge around cartoon characters to outline them. You have edge intensity. We can increase that by taking the slider to the right. Or we can decrease it, which helps clean the image up a little bit. We can decrease the amount of posterization or increase the amount of posterization. And I'm going to go with what I currently have. I'll just increase intensity there slightly and click OK. And that is just a very quick way to do a Banksy now or graffiti of some sort now if i move the girl across evidently then she will be in front of the girl doing the handstand which would not be a good thing i need to position her in such a way where she looks reasonably believable as a piece of art and if she does go ahead of the girl I just switch her on and off there. You'll see there is a section overlaying the girl doing the handstand. So on that layer one, I could use the eraser, but I don't trust myself to take things away that cleanly. So what I am going to suggest is a layer mask. And this little icon that I'm currently hovering over is a layer mask icon. And it will give me a white thumbnail to the right hand side of the layer the little fairy princess is on. This does not delete it merely hides parts of the layer information. So whenever I go to the paintbrush and I'm going to go for a reasonably hard edge not 100% hard and also a brush that is manageable and whenever I start to brush on there you'll see that it looks as though 
is currently deleting the information. But if I do accidentally take away too much, I can just flip my colours over. And with white in the foreground, it allows me to unhide and bring back parts of the image that I had taken away. So black in the foreground is the hiding colour. And white in the foreground is the showing colour. And you do expect to paint black and white on, and you do, but you paint it onto the thumbnail, not to the actual image. Now again, because these are separate layers, you will save them as a PSD, and you will also save a copy as a JPEG for print purposes or for email purposes. I'm not going to save these images because they're just for demonstration. And thanks for watching, guys.